Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a split layout page section in Squarespace using a section divider. Now at the time of recording this, if you have a standard Fluid Engine section, you can add an image to one side and content to the other and it'll look awesome. But if you're using a section divider like this wavy divider example right here, you'll notice that the image doesn't actually go all the way down to the edge of the divider. And that is what we're going to fix with custom code. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share in this tutorial are listed in the description below. But as I'm sure you can imagine, there are parts of this code that you'll need to change. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and I'll teach you exactly how to install this in Squarespace and what parts you'll need to modify to make it perfect for your own unique website. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace, and again, we can easily create the split layout section, just placing an image on one side and putting the content on the other. But if you scroll down here, I've got an example of a section divider, and the image doesn't stretch all the way down. But this example takes that same image and uses it as a background for a page section. Let's use custom code to make sure this image only takes up the right half of the screen. I'm going to navigate to Website, and then select Website Tools and Custom CSS. Here, I'll paste the code that's underneath the video. Now, there's a very important part of this code that you need to change, and that's the data section ID. To get this information, you can dig through the source code or use the free Chrome extension that I use. Not affiliated, just a fan, linked in the description below. Click on that Chrome extension and you can grab the data section ID. So this code only applies to that individual section. We have another section down here with that full width background image. And in this one, I actually want the image on the left and not the right. So I'm going to take this code. I'm going to repeat it. I'm going to use my extension to grab that data section ID. Let's replace it in this second code. And what we need to do here is instead of say margin left, we can say margin right to scoot that image to the other side of the page. I'll turn off that Chrome extension and we can see that magic happening here on our page section. Now, the first part of this code says at media only screen and min width 768 px. That's to make sure that this effect happens when we're getting these two blocks of content next to each other. Mobile devices will be reset so the image still takes up the entire background. But on desktop, you're getting that image on the left or right hand side. Now, again, this first version of the code is what I used to place the image on the right. It says margin left 50%. That scoots it 50% of the screen over to the side. And the second one says margin right 50%. And that keeps the image on the left side of the screen. Both of these codes are listed in the description below, along with the link to that free Chrome extension I used. Again, not affiliated, just a fan. Whenever you're done customizing, select save and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that I just shared with you, along with the link to that free Chrome extension that we use to grab the data section ID. And I've also included links to additional resources that I know you're going to love. One of those links is for my email list. If you're not a part of it yet, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash email. Every single week, I'll hop in your inbox with updated tutorials like this one and all kinds of other exclusive and fun content that will help you make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Again, that's insidethesquare.co forward slash email. Thanks so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.